Hello dear readers and subscribers. In last week's video we talked about pricing art and more specifically two-dimensional art. In today's video we're going to talk about three-dimensional art encompassing sculpture, public art and installations. If you're interested in pricing two-dimensional art, paintings, works on paper, fine art photography or art prints, make sure to watch last week's video next. When it comes to pricing three-dimensional art, things become a lot trickier because it is a lot harder to find a formula that one size fits all, that is suitable for all different three-dimensional art forms. There are so many additional factors that influence the pricing of a sculpture, in particular the production costs, which can be a lot greater in comparison with the two-dimensional art forms. Or what about outsourcing processes, the use of ready-made materials, and also how do we incorporate that third dimension in a formula that still makes sense when calculating the price. Furthermore, we're also going to talk about how to formulate your prices when it comes to an open call, for instance, for a public work of art or an installation artwork for a specific institutional exhibition. What are the best practices? How do we formulate that price in such a manner? Because there are some common guidelines or expectations from the art world how you should um, take care of your pricing in those cases. When it comes to pricing sculptures, there is a formula in which we can end up in the right price bracket, simply, um, depending on your career level. In a similar vein as last week, we're going to use the same career levels, meaning hobby artists, amateur artists, new emerging artists, and advanced emerging artists to find out which index range you should use in your formula. The formula in question to price your sculptures or to determine the artistic value for your honorarium in case of an open call is height plus the width plus the depth multiplied by the index number and we add up the production costs on top of it. It is very important with three-dimensional art to really be aware of your production costs, to really write these things down. For instance, sometimes when there is an open call, you need to have a transparent overview of those production costs. And on the other hand, when working with an art gallery, it is very common to share these production costs when taking on larger projects to make the investment together with your gallery. Now, if you would use a different formula for your sculptures, however, you end up in the same price bracket, then you're all right. If you're in doubt, if you're in the right price bracket, considering your career level, then simply stick to this formula and you should be fine. The index ranges for sculpture for three-dimensional art are of course different than those we used with two-dimensional art because we have a third dimension here. Therefore, I advise you, if you are a hobby artist, to use an index number between two and four. Amateur artists should opt for an index range between four and 10. New emerging artists, between 10 and 18, and advanced emerging artists between 18 and 24. Please note that these are the index ranges when you're using centimeters and are calculating prices in euro, and on our complete online article on how to price your art and in our calculator tool, which is a tool we have developed to calculate these prices automatically, we also offer a model for inches and US dollars. Now, within this index range, it is also important to find the right exact personalized index number. For instance, if you have very high production costs, meaning that you have um, taken a great risk investing in this piece, then you are allowed to set your index range or your personalized index number slightly higher in your range. If the artwork has a lot of mass density within the work, within these three dimensions, then you can set it also higher because more materials are being used within these three dimensions. Other common factors that were also applicable with two-dimensional art is for instance if you have a very high production rate then you should set your index uh, range lower. If you have a very time-consuming um, production process then it's allowed to set your index range higher. In our Kai price calculator tool we provide all the right questions and give you advice to go one up in your index range or one down uh, and by doing so you can arrive at your uh, the correct personalized index number um, without having to worry about these questions too much. When it comes to public arts and the pricing for public arts, things are a bit different because we're not producing something for the free primary market. Instead, we have a specific client in advance for it and therefore this specific client 
need to know or have some insight in the pricing and uh, all the costs that go into the artwork. So here we have to prepare some office work. We have to prepare or um, illustrate why we arrive at such a value for the artwork. Meaning we are going to write down everything that goes into those production costs and then also going to incorporate a wage for ourselves, most often in the form of an honorarium. Some artists use an hourly rate, however in an artistic context it is a lot more convenient and um, right to use uh, simply the artistic value that you add on top of the production value. Therefore, to calculate your honorarium, you can simply use the same formula without adding those production costs because those will be added in the budget overview automatically. For instance, if you would be a new emerging artist who is about to install a first public artwork, for instance a large bronze sculpture of 2 meters high and wide and 50 centimeters deep, your budget overview would look like preparatory work for the project proposal 300 euros, consultation with an urban planner 400 euros, Materials to model the sculpture, 250 euros. Going to the bronze foundry to outsource the production process, 9,000 euros. Transportation and installment, 1,500 euros. And then the artist's honorarium, based on those dimensions of your artwork and your index range, 6,500 euros, which will be what you'll be earning uh, considering the costs, resulting in a total price for the public artwork of 16,450 euros. When pricing installation arts, most often we're either using the uh, option of the sculptures or the option of the public artworks. And this also depends on the venue. If you create an installation artwork for the free primary um, market, for instance, um, to have a site-specific installation in your exhibition in the gallery, then you'll have to use the pricing model of the sculptures. If you are preparing an artwork for, for instance, an uh, institutional exhibition where uh, they also provide the funding, then we should use the budget overview as we do with public art. If you want to avoid making any mistakes in this process, feel free to consider purchasing our Kai price calculator tool. It is a tool we have developed to um, take care of the pricing of all different artistic disciplines from painting up to sculpture. If you have any further questions on pricing three-dimensional arts, I would like to see your questions in the comments below and I would also be interested in hearing your pricing models, how you have been pricing your sculpture up to this point. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Feel free to watch our video on how to price art part one, two-dimensional art next. Support us on Patreon and please consider subscribing to stay posted for more contemporary art. Bye.